Hello guys and welcome to the Wars and Weapons channel. Today we're going to talk about something very special, something that's not actually completely 100% directly to, uh, related to wars, but it's related to the weapons uh, of the wars. So the thing we're going to talk about is a pretty great thing. It's one of the four great inventions of China. If you don't know what that is, then go Google it up and notice what it is. So the thing we're going to talk about today is gunpowder, a mixture of sulfur, carbon in its charcoal form, and potassium nitrate or saltpeter. The name of saltpeter is because it tastes with something salty, uh, bitter, and sharp. So the name is a mixture between salt, uh, bitter, and sharp. To the fact like salt comes from salty, and like the P uh, b right before the peter comes from the sharp, and the ether, the rest of the peter, comes from the word bitter, which means something bitter. You know how it tastes. So the reason they named it salt pepper was because it had a taste less salty, uh, bitter, and sharp. So the invention of this thing was kind of a, an accident. So the Ch a few Chinese guys sit together and they are going to create a potion of life. They're going to create something that's supposed to grant you immortality, it's supposed to make you never die. So they mix a mixture between sulfur real gar or sulfur in its crystal is in its ruby form uh, of course salt pillar and honey uh, so they mix it up together and accidentally create one of the world's first recipes for gunpowder so they're going to uh, do it they're going to light it i don't know what the what they're going to do to uh, for that to grant them immortality but whatever they did caused the uh, caused the fire that uh, not only burned their hands and heads, but also burned down the house they were experienced they were experimenting in, which caused their death. So they could not uh, l live through to read the uh, to write the first uh, recipe. Now, one great thing you may not know about gunpowder is that it actually does not explode. We know, all know it as an explosive, though it is actually isn't an explosive. It kind of deflagrates, which means it burns so fast that the energy almost equalizes to the energy of a small explosion. You get the idea of how fast it can burn. Here is a video of a guy burning gunpowder to show you how fast it burned. Now that you saw how fast it burned, you know why they were used in guns due to the fact they could uh, they could deflagrate at a high speed, so it would create a lot of gases pushing out the bullet pretty fast through the forward through the front of the barrel. So that was how the, they decided that they were going to use it in the military. Actually, you may not believe the first areas where the guns were you where the gunpowder was used it was actually wasn't for military uses. It was for arrows, fire arrows at parties. They would use it as flares to light up parties besides their rockets, making the party look uh, much cooler and creating some of the world's first fireworks. Actually, you may not believe, the, remember the potion of life I was talking about that accidentally burned? Well, that potion of life is actually due to they were used sulfur and potassium nitrate or salt pillar due to the fact they actually had medical uses during the Chinese times around 492 they used it for medical purposes they you, you use it to cure diseases now we use them to not only uh, help humans live but we use them to kill humans so yeah the things turned out uh, the tables turned pretty fast so the invention of the world's first firearms or the first thing that actually used gunpowder is war in wars besides fire arrows that were actually used in combat were fire were flame spears these were uh, like, uh, in the old times, each country had uh, a, a special skill in using a special weapon, such as the Persians actually had a skill while riding like these curved swords while on horseback. Well, the Arabs were actually trained, like not trained, they were good um, or like naturally at fighting with light gear, light shields and a curved sword while uh, most of the Europeans they you know, were, were uh, naturally good at using uh, swords that were straight, like long swords, you call them. And the Chinese actually were good with spears, so they decided to make the world's first firearm that used gunpowder. So they attached some kind of a casing on top of the spear that actually had gunpowder in it, and some kind of fuse. 
like when the enemy was going to charge towards you, you would just light the fuse and after it reached the casing, it would uh, act as a flamethrower that had three meters of range. Like the enemy is charging towards you, you will turn on the fuse and it will actually burn the first line of the, of the enemy charge, which actually demor demoralizes the rest of the charging group. Like, you know, if you imagine like you're in an army, like you're charging towards the Chinese group, and then suddenly uh, your commander or uh, where is in the first line suddenly burns right in front of you. I don't know about you, but I would shit myself in such a situation. So yeah, imagine something like that, you'd get demoralized. So after that, then they would uh, go into charge position and charge with their spears forward, which would could which made it easy to kill the demoralized soldiers for the Chinese, which actually led to the invention of the world's first firearms. After that, they decided improving it to adding me a metal casing in order to make it reusable, like they were papered, it would burn after one use. But later on, they made it on the metal so that they can relight it again later. They also sometimes would add a small pellets in the front so that it could also act, uh, act like a shotgun. Now, that's enough for today, because if the video is too long, you won't be interested in watching. But that's enough for today, so we'll talk about the rest of the history of guns and gunpowder later. So, uh, thanks for you t thank you for watching, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the war bell to be notified of the rest of the wars that occur on the channel. Uh, thank you for watching again, and stand by for the next video.